So we had Brazil. And that was by Bennett and me. So this is a graph of Brazil's population. It starts in 1950 and it goes all the way up to 2100. And um, so we're right here. And as you can see, um, by 2050, the population is supposed to stop growing and start declining. It also shows a comparison between other countries like China and India, which are all the way up there, and then the European countries, and then Nigeria. That's comparisons. And Brazil is on the purple, the dashed line. The population growth rate is the average annual percent change in population. And since 1960, Brazil's growth rate has decreased and is still expected to decrease according to the International Futures Forecasting System at the University of Denver. As of 2014, the rate is 0.81. And this rate is predicted to drop to 0.499 by 2030 and eventually decrease to negative 0.061 by the year 2060. Um, yeah, so this is a graph of the population growth rate. Uh, it started in 1980. You can see how they show it. It's a slow increase. Uh, the doubling time at current growth rate would be 87.5 years if the current growth rate is 0 0.8 and the population 204, 260,000 million people, and that which is the population of Brazil right now. And since that growth rate is predicted to decrease significantly by 2050, it is likely that the doubling time is more than 87.5 years. This is a vid uh, little video of I put the graphs since 1970 to 2050 together. And I can pause it in 2015. Oops. It basically just shows how the gender, how the pyramids change over time. And as of right now, there are a lot more people in this part of the graph than over here. But after this, you can see how that begins to change up until 2050. And with that, these numbers stack up over here. There's less people. So that shows the trend. So Brazil is in its fourth stage of demographic transition, as you saw in the other graphs. Uh, so it's it's been developed, and the death rates and birth rates are both lowered, and the population is steady and high. And um, these are some of the conditions currently in Brazil uh, with life expectancy. 73 years and uh, seven years on average of schooling. Um, and the reasons why Brazil's population is steady is because um, women have more access to birth control and AIDS awareness is uh, great. And women are, I mean, the improving healthcare is ensuring women that their kids will survive so they don't feel the need to have um, a lot of kids for the sake of a few survivors.
So our, our recommendation was that Brazil should continue what they're doing as it is showing positive trends and it is predicted that they will efficiently address this issue over time and eventually have a leveling up population. Mm, that's a very exciting.